Hello gang, Rob DeBank here for another JD set and this week we're going train spotting up north. I Like Trains are a great British band offering something totally unique in today's indie obsessed scene. Aside from getting dressed up as train drivers when they play live, they make dark epic and grand old tunes. It's all a bit cinematic with eerie landscapes and forgotten times and a tad spooky. But with only a couple of singles and an EP under their belts, they've ditched their trusty tour bus, which for the last two years has taken them all over the UK and Europe, and hold themselves up in their studio to crack on with their debut album. We managed to drag them out of hiding to wow the people of Nottingham. Pray silence for I Like Trains. <laughs> I guess it all began with uh, me and Guy. Um, we were in a high school band together. Um, we weren't very good. <laughs> um, so we both ended up in Leeds, um, just making music, uh, the two of us, mostly sort of acoustic guitars and things, until we realised that um, we wanted to make more noise. We never set out to write a song to make a certain point. Mm. Would someone tell us or we'll, we'll read something? about a certain character from at some point in usually history. Um, that's, again, it's a sort of tragic story, a sense of defeat or loss. And then we just write music about that, and we try and have the music match what the vocals say as well, mm -hmm. with a very sort of grand swelling music, and that sense of romantic tragedy. <laughs> for a sense of Britishness. Um, I think a lot of the bands that that we do share similar ground with, uh, Godspeed and Sigur Ross, kind of just sound like they could have been from the surface of the moon. There's no sense of location to their music. And so I, I think we, we always wanted a sense of location. Um, I think the trains were kind of represent a, a great British engineering feat, which has subsequently declined, and so that romantic view of, um, you know, a tragic mm -hmm. 
tragedy sort of runs through all our all our songs.